Hi, this is Pete Lyons with Let's Play Salesforce, and today we're doing Einstein Analytics Data Flow Basics Part 6, Composite Keys. So today I've got some quota data loaded up um, that I'm going to try to join onto my opportunities. So first I'm going to create a data set from a CSV, so I'll hit continue. I'm going to drag my uh, quota data over, not into the big part of the box, but right here where it says select a file or drag it here. Hit next. We can do next past this. Here are the columns that I'm bringing in. So I have my owner name. I have their quota that's randomly between uh, 100K and 300K. And I've got start date. Um, so I've got quota data here for um, December of 2017 as well as January and February of 2018. So all my metadata looks correct. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit next. So now we're going to hop into our data flow editor by going to the data manager, selecting data flows and recipes, and clicking on data flow number five. This is the data flow that we're going to be working with. So first, we're going to need uh, an edge mark transformation to bring in our quota data. Go ahead and click continue. It's going to be quota data sheet one. So now we're going to need to add in some fields that we're going to be using for our keys. So uh, our quoted data is monthly, so we're going to grab the close date off of opportunity. Now, also on our slice node, we had originally taken account.ownerID off. We're going to add that back. And since we added it in the uh, get opties and we're using mode keep, we will also need to check close date here or we're not going to have access to that. So now is where we actually create our compound IDs. And in order to achieve this, we're going to need to create two compute expressions. Uh, the first one we're going to call enrich quota. We're going to take the get quotas as our source. Merge with source equals true. And our field is going to be called compound ID. It's going to be of type text. And we're basically going to do some concatenations here. So what this is going to return is going to be the owner name, then a hyphen, then the start date's year, and then another hyphen, and the start date month. Remember that whenever we have a date field uh, living in our data set, where it's going to be broken out into subdates, that's going to give us the dimensions of year, month, day, quarter, week, hour, minute, and second, as well as the measures, epic day and epic second. So we're going to use this to uh, concatenate uh, together with the owner name so we have an ID that, will, uh, that we can match up with what we're finding on our opportunity data. Now we're going to make a little bit of room in here, and we're going to create our second compute called Enrich Opties. The source is going to be Slice ID. Merge with source is true. We're going to call it Compound ID. Again, of type text. Now in this case, we need the the account owner name, which I believe is actually just owner.account.name, but we'll find out if I've got that wrong or not. The same plus, quote, minus, quote, plus. Now this should return the exact same thing. Move this guy over here. So now we're going to augment our enriched quota data down onto the opportunity data set using an augment transformation called join quotas to opti. Our left source is going to be enrich opties. Our right source is going to be enrich quotas. Left key is going to be our compound ID. Our right key will also be our compound ID. Right fields, we're going to pull in the quota. And that should really be all that we need. Leave uh, operation set to look up single value. Click Save. Move this over here. 
And now we're ready to adjust the source on our register node so we can pull in that newly enriched information. Go ahead and hit save, update our data flow. Back to the data monitor, run the data flow, spam that refresh button. So let's play around with our data set a little bit. First, we're going to group by our closed date year month because that's the grain that we're looking at our data from. We're going to filter to only see uh, the months that we actually loaded quotas for. So we're gonna set relative month to this month and two months forward. Well, that's gonna give us the same three months of data that we're looking at. I'm also gonna filter this so we can look at just one of these Opti owners. So let's take a look at John Williams, just John Williams here. We're gonna change this to sum of amount. And we're gonna add, this part's very important, average of quota quota. We can also use uh, first. And the reason why is because we have this stored on every single opportunity. So if we're gonna see sum, we're actually gonna see quota multiplied by the number of opportunities that he has. I'm gonna switch the visualization type to combo chart. And I'm going to switch to single axis. And we can now see how our rep is actually performing on a month-to-month -month basis against his quota. So you'd probably want to either you know, view multiple reps against multiple quotas or have uh, some kind of uh, list widget to allow you to switch between reps or reps uh, on, a, on a particular team. Uh, where you're going to find this trick most useful is going to be on data sets that are very relevant uh, to the time at which the records are being created. So for example, uh, data that you want to aggregate on a monthly basis, especially if you're going to be boiling that up and creating summary data sets. So that concludes Dataflow Basics Part 6. Uh, if you learned something or enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. And uh, stay tuned for more content on this and a number of other things, including Salesforce Risk, if that's what you're into. And as always, thanks for watching.